It's gonna eat! Ah! And the placement is on point. And I get to cover my big old forehead and still look cute. This is like, this is like, bitch, where do you think you're going? Where are you going? Now? I'm about to go ahead and install my tape ins. We had a product a day. 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 But uh, yes, these are the tape ins. I feel like I showed you guys already, but these are the tape ins from Amazon. And I got them, I got two packs. I feel like I should have got three because I normally want my hair to be full. But I have some like leftover old tape ins that if I need to, I'll just wash them and install them to like fill in if it needs to be filled in. But I got two packs, 40 pieces each, which is like 100 grams each, which is like equivalent to two bundles. But I figured since my hair is out, that can be filled, like that can, I don't need three bundles. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and straighten my hair. Y'all, please don't judge me back down up in the under heel because I don't know what it looked like. Since this towel been on for the past two hours. Child. I might even have to go ahead and um apply my makeup onto my <laughs> forehead because obviously I didn't do that because I had the towel. Mm, child. I have to straighten my hair. I washed my hair last night. I shampooed my hair last night and I blow dried it, but now I need to straighten it. So that's exactly what I'm about to do. going to be wearing my hair as a side part so I went ahead and I parted out my hair and how I want my like side my edges to lay and things of that nature and this is the before as you can see my hair is pretty short and pretty thin so the tape ins are definitely going to add some volume and length to my natural hair and then I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair into two sections first starting out i'm going to part on my right side behind my ear i'm going to do a parting vertically and place the parting behind my ear so that way i have enough hair to cover my tapes in case i want to do a half up half down look and then i'm going to do the same on the other side i'm going to part behind my ear like directly behind my ear and all of this is going to be fully taped now i am parting my leave out in the back in case i want to pull my hair up into a bun so i'm just checking to see if the part is um decent enough <laughs> you know it's going to be hard i mean you're doing this yourself so it's not going to be perfect but it's going to get the job done And now I'm just checking to see if I have enough leave out out to cover up my tape. So what you want to do is take the end of your rat tail comb, place it in the part, flip your hair over. And the goal is obviously to have your leave out cover the tail of the comb. If it doesn't, then that means you don't have enough hair to cover your tapes and you need to leave out more. If it does, then you're good to go. And in this case, I was good to go. And now I'm just going to go ahead and start installing my tapes 
I don't know if I told you guys, but this is a Yaki textured tape in. I have it linked in my Amazon storefront. And this is in a natural brown. It's a little bit lighter than my natural hair. I thought my natural hair was pretty brown, but it seems to be really dark compared to the tapes. But hey, that's okay. So you can do this in a lot of different ways. <laughs> I'm choosing to go ahead and install my tapins from the bottom up, meaning I'm going to place my tapes upside down. Now, if I was doing this on someone else, I would do it com the complete opposite, but because I'm doing it on myself, I feel like this is much easier for me to do. So basically, I'm placing the hair, not on the root, but like maybe like a half an inch um, away from my um, root and I'm just placing it I mean I can't really explain it but you can see what I'm doing right and then uh, because I want my hair to be super full and I don't want a lot of space in between my tapes I'm literally just going to continue this method all the way around and then when I'm done placing the first set of tapes I'm gonna flip the tapes down and whatever hair is attached to the tape is what's going to be sandwiched in between the following tape if you follow what I'm saying I mean I can show you better than I can tell you but this is the first row the first row is complete and now I'm about to go ahead and pull the tapes down and like I said whatever tapes I mean whatever hair is attached to the tape is whatever hair is going to be sandwiched in between the following tape um, I'm not really doing parting I'm not doing like um, neat parting I mean you could obviously to, for me this was just easier and um, faster for me to do plus I wanted like I said I didn't want a lot of hair in between my tapes I wanted my actual taping pieces to be close together because I wanted the back of my head to be extremely full like I wanted it to look like I had a sew-in. I really wanted it to look like a full head of hair. So I didn't have like a bunch of hair in between each section or each parting of the tapes. If you guys are following what I'm saying. Um, I just made sure that the hair laid flat. So that way um, I don't have like a clunk of hair bunched up in the tapes. Because that's not good because that's how your hair can fall out. So make sure that whatever hair is stuck on the tapes, make sure it's flat before you apply, before you sandwich it, basically. If you follow what I'm saying. I don't you know, I'm a visual learner. So this is for all of my visual learner girlies. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and let y'all vibe out. And then um, when we get halfway through, well, y'all know when we get halfway through. how I want my hair to be like how full I want it to look and I don't think this is gonna be enough but but I'm gonna just go ahead and try to finish the middle I'm just gonna leave some space in between because like y'all saw y'all saw before that when I was installing it I wasn't like reparting my hair so that way the sh so that way the part can be straight I was just taking 
I wasn't parting the hair. So there's like no space in between these tapes of just my hair because I really wanted it to be full. But now that I'm getting to this center area and to the top, um, I want it to be as flat as possible, even though it'll be flat, but I just want it to be as flat as possible. So I'm just going to go ahead and start adding some spaces after this last row. Um, cause I have like two tapes right here and I have to add some more right here. Then I'm going to flip it down, match it, and then I'll start spacing. And I then, I think, I don't know, this might be enough. I just know it's not going to be as full as I wanted to, but I'm going to just go ahead and just like continue and then work on this side and then if I don't have, I feel like all of this is going to take up all of this because the top of my head is freaking huge. It's like huge up here. It's like not that big back here on the sides is fine. It's like up here, all of my head is up here. So I think that all of this is literally going to take up all of this, but I don't know, we'll see. I don't know, we'll see. And then if I needed, like, you know, some extra ones, I'll take the old ones and put them right here because I'm um, most likely wear my hair to the side and push behind my ear anyways. I don't know if I'm going to ever do a part in the middle, but I'm doing too much talking. I'm trying to hurry up because it's already late. I said I wanted to be to bed by 12 and it's 1240 and I'm not even like halfway done. So. you are a 
aware enough about what's happening in your spirit so that you're not preaching, teaching, pouring, parenting, loving, sexing with people, not realizing that you are really giving them access to a version of you that you don't even like, but misery loves company, and now we're sitting in this dimension of torment together because I didn't realize... This was a portal. Something to be said about us recognizing the power of connection, the power of opportunity to not just meet us, but to move us. When is the last time we took inventory of what is happening in our life and who was in our lives and asked ourselves, where are you taking? to successfully do a full install in the back I could definitely add some more tips in the back or um, tapes in the back by um, using the method method that I was using <laughs> sorry y'all I can definitely install some more tapes in the back to make it even fuller by using the same method that I was using in the beginning instead of like parting but um, we have to work with what we got. So this is how much I have left for the front. Mind you, I only bought two. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on this side because I know that I'm gonna be parting my hair like this. So I'm gonna work on this side and then whatever. If I need some more, I'm just gonna have to dig into my little pal and revamp some tapes, okay? Because I, I can already tell this is not going to be enough. But and I want to see how much hair I, is, I need to cover this. And I think it needs to go. Let me see. Ooh, I think that's too much hair. great yes look at that everything is covered so nice and full I'm gonna have to straighten this side though yeah this is yes Nasha, you did the damn thing girl you know okay yep perfect same thing we want a good amount of hair to be left out around the perimeter so that way it covers the tapes. My hair is so thin on the, my edges are so thin. I didn't even flat iron this, but it looks like it needs to be covered. I'm trying to think, am I gonna ever do a middle part? Let me part a middle part just in case and do it and basically split this into three sections. Yeah, so basically I'm gonna split this into three sections. So if I ever so desperately decide to put my hair into a middle part, I can do that. I highly doubt it, but I would rather have the option to do that than not. Okay, a 
think this part, I'm a little cross-sided, so if it's not, then whatever. It's natural. It's supposed to be natural, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But, yeah, so this is going to be another part. And then we'll start working on this part. So, actually, there's not a lot here because my edges are so thin. So, hopefully, no, that's not going to be. Well, I don't know. No, it's not going to be enough. I can tell. But. So I'm going to need to leave out a lot, actually. This is going to be on a part, so I need to leave this out. So that way it can cover the tapes. Right? Okay, so that's that. And then basically, I'm gonna have to tape up this section right here. But let me see if this even covers. No, it doesn't. You see that? So if I wanted to pull my hair up, I couldn't because the tapes will show. So I'm gonna have to dig a little deeper here. And then I can put like a tape there. I don't know if you guys can see, but I have to dig a little deeper there and see. Nope. God damn. Tapes won't even cover there. Y'all, I'm bald headed. I don't like that. Okay, we're gonna have to dig a little deeper there. Okay, let's see. Shit. All right. Okay, that should be enough. That should be enough. So I'm going to have to start applying my tapes here. I'm going to have to definitely put those babies close together so it can be full. And then right here is where I apply like a little baby tape. So I'm going to have to cut a tape in half and apply it there. Not even half. I'm so blind right now. It was so hard trying to see the back of my head, y'all. It was so hard. Okay. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is go ahead and apply this tape right here. It's like a half a tape. You see? And I'm going to flip it and then apply the other half right behind it. Okay, so that's that. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. All right, now I'm going to take another. Do I want to put this? I don't think I need to make it a half one. I'm trying to see. Because I'm going to put this here. So I think two can fit here. Let's tape right here. Just like that. Remember, don't put it. Oh, don't apply it directly onto your root because it'll be hard to maneuver. Like, um, it'll be hard to maneuver the tape up and down. And then also, especially if you have like oily scalp, I have really, really dry scalp. But even with dry scalp, like my scalp flakes. So I don't want like my buildup for my scalp to get all up on the tapes because then that way it will definitely affect the longevity of the style. But, yeah, so that's another reason why you don't want to place it directly onto your root because you don't want, like, your oils or sweat or even, even dry scalp to, like, get in to your tapes. All right. So now I'm going to pull these down and whatever hair is attached to the tape, let that fall down with it like I said I want this to be full so I'm not gonna do too much parting I'm just gonna keep pulling the tapes down and whatever hair comes down with it is what comes down with it I don't think this is falling to my face um well enough so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to 
do a little bit of um like i did in the back i started to do like block layering so instead of putting the other tape right on top of this i'm gonna place the tape a little off center and yeah so on this row i should be able to place about three tapes but i need to make sure actually i'm gonna do a little part I need to, I want to make sure that the tape isn't going to show when I, if I decided to part it in the middle. So, yeah, I think I have plenty of space. So, I don't think I need all this hair. Damn. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm going to place my first tape right This falls. Oops, that's a little too close to my scalp. Okay. And then well, two might be suffice for this one too, but I don't know. I'm have to see. Is that all sandwich? Mm, actually, it doesn't really feel like it. God damn it. But it's okay. Pull that down, and whatever hair comes down with it is going to come down with it. And I'm going to go ahead and sandwich it. I literally only have a few left, so I already know that I'm going to have to go into my stash and make something freaking shake. Hopefully I still have some long piece pieces because I do remember, I do remember me cutting my tapes. So hopefully <laughs> I have some long pieces because if not, yee, I don't know. Darling, 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 stay by me. Oh, stay by me. Oh, stay. Stand by me. Stand by me. And darling, darling, stay by me. There we go. And it's laying flat. Okay. You can't see any tapes. That's awesome. You're doing something right here. I mean, of course, we're doing it right. We are the bomb.com. Okay, and uh, yeah, so I think that I only have enough tapes to finish this little section right here because there's only two, one, two, three, shit, one, two, yeah, oh wow, no, there's literally only one, two, two pairs and then one little straggly piece left, so yeah, I'm going to have to go into my little stash, but let me keep going. I just wanted to quickly show you guys how you can re reuse your old tape. As you can tell, this has like, let me see if it focuses. This has glue left on it and a little bit of hair actually. So I had saw this on TikTok. Um, you take the tape and you take a towel and you take a flat iron. Taking the flat iron or iron and then you place the tape up against the towel, like the sticky part, the adhesive part, and you just take the flat iron and you heat it up, right? For a couple of seconds and then now when i pull this off all the glue look at that all the glue is coming off bam so now you have a clean tape so great love tiktok for stuff like this so this is the old glue 
and this is the clean tape I didn't have to wash this I don't feel like washing it it's still flowy it's still like nice and soft so I'm just going to apply a new tape the hair came with like extra tapes which was pretty dope and I'm going to just apply it right back where the old tape was and uh, yeah so this is what the hair looks like so far with just two bundles oh my god i totally forgot that i didn't even do this side and to be honest i might not even bother right now i might just leave this as is i'm gonna go ahead and order me a another pack so that way my hair can be fuller because I definitely want my hair to be fuller and but I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of layering how I'm going to do that is I'm just gonna take my hair just gonna take my hair hold this Clamp it and then I'm going to point cut with the shears if I can find them in this mess. This much easy. That's it. And then to take the back and I'm gonna put it up like this to like um, into the back of my head not too high not too low I think this is perfect and then do I have a scrunchie in the back? Oh my fingers are getting stuck I got all right it's in my hands or something Okay, I think that's good. Cross the fingers that that even like looks right. Okay, that gave me a little bit of let. Hey, ho, hey, ho. Okay, ho, hey. Oh. They gave me some layers. Okay, that did give me some layers. I'm not gonna do too much though. I'm gonna wait until like I said I get my other pack but I'm gonna go ahead and style this real quick and then I'll be right back Drama is giving me like rich bitch shit. Cardi on my wrist. What's in that song? What song is that? I don't know. Rich bitch shit. Yeah, I don't know. But this is giving everything that it needs to give. Body. The bang is banging. But I do need some more hair because it's like giving super thin down here and I don't like it. But I do like my hair. And the placement is on point. And I get to cover my big old forehead and still look cute. This is like, this is like, bitch, where do you think you're going? 
Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm going to the Grammys. Where are you going? What? Where are you going? I'm going somewhere. Once I add some more layers and add some more hair to this, it's going to eat. Call it a night. I need to call it a morning. Ah! Oh shit! Let me turn it around real quick. Let me show y'all what the back look like. Well, let me see what the back look like first. Hold on. Let me see. Okay, the back is blending. The back is blending. It's a little flat. Ain't that much curls going on, but y'all know why. Who am I trying to convince y'all or myself? I ain't even do the little baby hair. I ain't gonna do that yet though. I wanna wait, I, cause I know I'm going to sleep and I don't want all that stuff in my hair. But I'll do that another time. But basically, it's just gonna look like this. Basically, it's just gonna look like that. Just something simple, ain't no baby hair, just a little swoop. And then this just gonna come out like that. And then, that could either go that way, like back, or that could go like this way, like forward, or it could just go like straight. No, probably not straight, but one of the two. I'll just do it like that for right now. Just like simple, just effortless. I took four hours out of my day to do this, and I'm like very proud of myself on myself at that and did a damn good motherfucking job so imagine what miracle i can work on you girl <laughs> <laughs> yeah buddy this might be it okay 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 this might be it we ain't cool now let me stop playing because i love you good wig and then wigs are good for like when you want to do color but don't want to color your hair when you want to do some highlights but don't want to bleach your hair when you want to go short but don't want to cut your hair when you want to go long now when you want to go long you can just do this and if you want to do highlights you can just add tapes of different colors and do highlights don't get me started y'all oh i don't know i don't know but yeah, anyways, so yeah, this is it. I'll see y'all later on this week when we add some more tape ins and add some more layers. But for the most part, this is it. And this is the final look of the tape ins. I went ahead and I layered them using the butterfly method. They It literally came out perfectly. If you guys want to see how I layered them, check me out on TikTok. I did make a quick little TikTok video of how I layered my hair, but it was so easy. It literally took less than 10 minutes for me to perfect the layers. And then I did the quick blowout method. I feel like if I would have let the curls sit longer, it would be even more luscious, but I literally just let the hair sit for probably about like five minutes, maybe less than five minutes. And I took them down and they came out just like this. It literally just looks like I did a quick um, blowout. But yeah, this these are the tape ins. I didn't put any edge control on. I would have just like combed them into place. And then I did um, curl this so that way it could swoop. And then I used a little bit of hairspray to hold it down while I like combed it and molded it. But yeah, this is the final look of the tape ins. I absolutely love them. They look so full and so good let me check to see if all the tapes are covered in the back and they are it blends so well <laughs> let me see yeah they blend so well just look at them they look so freaking good okay they look so good so yeah, I like them. This has got to be my new favorite like hairstyle of myself. Oh my God. Cause it gives me an opportunity to like get used to my forehead. Cause I gave me curl, I be forgetting how big my forehead is. But yeah, I mean, I like it. I think I look so pretty, so good. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my makeup, come back. 
I just need to go ahead and do my makeup so I can like cover this up. But the hair eats, okay? The hair eats. And I love it. Can I show my love for you? Can I show my love for you? How much better can I show my love?